What's up guys, BD Wiz here. Today we're looking at something to stimulate your visuals. The AK2515 by AK Technologies. We ordered this joker from eBay and yeah, it took a little while to come in. So after about three or so weeks, we got it in. Let's unbox it, see what it's all about. See what's inside. You get this 3.5 millimeter male to dual female adapter. In addition, a 3.5 millimeter male to male cable here that's stereo. It's about four feet long or so. And then you get a USB adapter here for the unit. You'll see how it plugs in at center positive. And then here are two Lexan panels. One is for the back of the unit, the other is for the front. And here is the main unit itself. And it does come assembled for the most part. There are a few things you have to do to put the little plastic pieces on the front and back. And here's the hardware that goes along with it. But anybody can do this. There is no manual, unfortunately, in the box, which kind of stinks. So it's 25 bands wide by 15 segments high. So it's actually a pretty cool looking display. And I did find a document online that had some information about it. It uses vacuum fluorescent display. And it goes from 32 hertz to 16 kilohertz. And there's a lot of other things it has, like a clock function. It has adjustable display, uh, all kind of neat stuff. We'll get into that later. But yeah, make sure you guys check the video description so you can pick up one of these. I know you haven't bought one yet. If you have any another one, give one to your mama. The precision screwdriver set, because you need the 1.5 millimeter Allen key or hex head, whatever you want to call it, but Allen's tired of you barring his stuff, so make sure you buy your own. First off, we're going to put the back panel on. It's got some openings on the back and we'll look at that closer later so that's so you can solder on some additional connections but basically there are four screws here and four standoffs so that you can mount the back panel to the amplifier and then mount the front as well very simple uh, anybody can do this probably your three-year-old child could do this for you if you can't but um yeah not too much difficulty here in the assembly you can handle it. Go ahead and put all your screws in, get it all together, and we're gonna fire it up and see how it works. Here's the manufacturer and the model, the AK Technology Audio Spectrum UM2515 VFO. On one end we have a couple buttons, actually that's three more than a couple. And on the back you can see all the different connections here. It looks like you could go ahead and solder in some external controls if you wanted to. Uh, but again, there was no manual or no um, schematic with it, so I didn't really know what all they were all about. But here's your audio in and your DC 5 volt in. And we're just going to show hooking it up to a little external USB charger here. So we plug in the power connection and then plug it into our little USB uh, battery supply here. And we'll show it boot up, AK Tech. It comes up with the clock, and the really interesting thing is the clock was right. It's kind of scary when it came in. All right, so now I'm gonna get it all hooked up and show you how it works. First off, I'm gonna use this 3.5 millimeter male to dual female adapter, and I'm gonna hook up two different 3.5 millimeter cables, so you will need to be an, buy an extra one if you want to mimic this. One is gonna go into the Spectrum Analyzer display here. The other one is gonna go into a Bluetooth speaker that I purchased off Amazon a while back. Again, check the video description for the links to all these. First up, we're gonna try here A to the O. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, have I got your attention for the cool factor? Thought so. Love some spectrum analyzing. So let's check out some more of the features here, some of the different display modes of this unit. And if you hit the OK button just once, what it does is it turns off and on the bottom line, which is red in this case. Not really sure what that's all about, why that matters. But there are also up and down buttons, and if you click one or the other, it'll cycle through. There's approximately 10 different display modes this one looks like it's raining in reverse. Um, this one just has the bouncing lines here. And you can see, I'm just gonna cycle through. I'm not gonna talk about each one of them, but you can pick out your favorite. My favorite is the first one. That's the one I'm gonna cycle back around to. But yeah, different day maybe. You wanna see something a little different, you know, impress your friends, then here you go. 
Just choose the one that you like the best. So I'm not going to cover all the features, but there are some different modes for changing the clock, changing the display duration, changing the speed, things like that. Check the video description for more information about that. Now, the unit being 7 inches by 2 inches, approximately den size for car audio. So what does that mean? Oh, yes. No more need to search for the old school EQs. It costs a ton. You just need a different adapter here, RCA to... 3.5 millimeter and then you can be displaying like this you know you like it all you gotta do is make you a little trim panel out of some abs and then yeah man this thing would be sweet so we'll have to try this out in the car hope you guys appreciated this video had lots of fun making it these units are very affordable well you know 40 45 bucks something like that check the video description i'll have links to ebay and amazon hope you guys like one of these maybe pick one up Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Do you like these types of videos? Doing something a little different? I thought you might, but you know what the time it is. It's time for Big D Wiz to be out of here. Now is Oxymodo. He called me Oxymoron? You big dumb-